Hi, and uh, thanks for watching again. Um, in today's video, we're going to be looking at asymmetrical clipping versus symmetrical clipping, and then also going into sort of a fun experiment with extreme asymmetrical clipping and just to hear what that sounds like. Um, I'm not going to really talk in detail about the difference between uh, symmetrical clipping and asymmetrical clipping, so if you're interested, uh, please go search online. There are plenty of um, resources online that you could find. But basically uh, when you have what's called symmetrical clipping, whether it be soft clipping or hard clipping, um, you're going to have two or maybe four diodes, each with the same forward voltage, um, sort of facing opposite directions. So basically one side of the signal and the other side of the signal. So if you're having like a sine wave and the, this plus side of the signal um, and the mi minus side, I don't know if you call it the minus side, but um, they both get clipped the same way or the same amount. Um, with asymmetrical clipping, you want to have, it could be two diodes, one um, a silicon diode and one an LED or something like that, but basically you're going to have uh, two or three, um, it could be four, but basically the forward voltages for each side of the signal are going to be different. So you're clipping one half of the signal in a different way than the other half. Um, asymmetrical clipping, in theory, is said to give more of a pleasing organic tone um, and said to be more tube-like, um, although you know, that's up to personal opinion because there are plenty of um, popular schematics or uh, overdrive pedals that use symmetrical clipping, like the Tube Screamer, uh, the King of Tone, the Blues Breaker, I, I mean, there are probably more uh, symmetrical clipping circuit overdrive pedals in, on the market than there are uh, asymmetrical clipping overdrive pedals. I made a video recently talking about what's called a cold clipper um, in a tube circuit and you'll see a lot of Marshalls and Sedanos um, and some other uh, high gain tube amps have this thing called a cold clipper where they intentionally um, sort of shift the bias of a preamp tube to create asymmetrical clipping, extreme asymmetrical clipping in a tube amp. Um, and this is said to create um, pleasing harmonics and nice distortion and all that stuff. Um, again, opinions vary. Some people like it, some people don't. But um, after making that video on cold clipper, um, I was intrigued to see what would happen if we did something similar with extreme asymmetrical clipping in a um, soft clipping overdrive pedal. But anyway, um, what we're gonna do is I have, I built a breadboard um, with a very, very simple op amp soft clipping overdrive. And I'm gonna have a bunch of um, diodes connected to it. And you'll see all the stuff in, um, I'll have graphics on the screen to see what you're hearing. And also I'll talk about it um, in the segment after this. But we'll be looking at uh, symmetrical clipping against asymmetrical clipping, but also going into extreme asymmetrical clipping, meaning that um, in one instance, I'll have five diodes in a row against only one diode. So that's pretty extreme. Um, it'll create some interesting results, I think, uh, just, just for fun. But hopefully, uh, it'll generate some ideas and so you guys can implement some of this stuff into um, a fun pedal if you're thinking of doing something different and unique. Um, but it's just mostly just a fun experiment. I just wanted to hear what it sounds like just for myself as well. Um, so hope you enjoy the content and let's move into the part where I talk about the schematic and the breadboard. So hope you enjoy the video and uh, please let me know uh, what you think in the comment section below. Okay, so um, we're taking a look at the breadboard here, and I guess the first thing I should probably show you is the schematic. Um, it's nothing special. Uh, hopefully, this is in the frame. Um, I'll double check later. If it's not, I'll just pop up a, uh, an image on the screen. Um, but very, very simple. So all we have is a op amp buffer in the first stage. Yeah, so just an op amp buffer in the first stage um, and then your regular soft clipping configuration here and then just goes straight out and this is the tone knob which is again a very rudimentary simple uh, tone knob just cutting off the treble and then to your output level so um, yeah nothing special but 
for this purpose of um, testing out the clipping diodes. Um, I think this works really well. Uh, the, the reason why I didn't do sort of like a, a typical tube screamer type thing where you have the clipping circuit and then um, another op amp after it is that I, I initially built something like that um, but then noticed that um, because of the amplification going on here you do actually get some clipping in the second op amp stage um, and that kind of uh, takes away from just being able to hear the diodes clipping um, although even with this configuration you are going to start clipping that uh, op amp right here uh, but anyway so this is the schematic hopefully it's in frame yeah so that's it and then um, let me zoom in a cut real quick okay so we're back and um, zoomed into the breadboard a little bit better so you can see it um, but uh, let's see this is the gain knob um, it's a 500k audio taper pot um, and then you probably can't see it very well but this is the output volume and there's a trim pot for the tone over here and I'll quickly go through it um, um, the other thing is that this little switch over here is going to go between um, no diodes and then um, adding the diodes into the circuit so when it's on the right it has no diodes in the circuit so it's just the op amp and then when it switches to the left it's going to have the diodes in the soft clipping um, so we'll leave that there for now um, let's just start off, I guess I should probably do the clean tone. So again, we'll probably jump, um, quick cut, jump to that. Um, my clean tone on the bridge pickup. And then on the neck. Okay, so that's a clean tone and let's jump back to the breadboard. Okay, so um, this is with the gain at noon and then um, let's, I guess we should start with the tone knob. This is with the tone all the way down. So this is with a tone at noon. And this is with the tone max. And normally it'd be um, an audio taper pot, so that's why even there isn't much of a difference between noon and maximum. So um, let me just set it somewhere. Sounds pretty good. How about? So let's start with the gain knob. Um, so right now it's at noon, and this is without the diodes in the circuit, so just the op amp. So you can kind of hear the op amp starting to break up right there. Um, there's just a hint of break up and it's not because the amp is breaking up. Um, it's, it's the op amp is starting to break up. And as I turn up the gain, you'll definitely start noticing the op amp um, distort. <laughs> Okay, so um, obviously at maximum, the op amp is distorting quite a bit. 
um, and it is that kind of nasty um, op amp distortion. By the way, the op amp that we're using today is a TL072, um, commonly found in the King of Tone, um, the Blues Breaker, and other popular pedals. Um, I thought it'd be a good one to use here. Okay, so um, you can see that there are 10 diodes over here, um, five in a row, and each five facing the same direction. Um, and within the breadboard, they're connected to each other. Um, what I'm going to do is uh, by plugging in the white lead or the blue lead into certain positions, um, I'm going to be act sort of activating um, each diode or each series of diodes. Um, and I'll put a diagram on the screen as we go through different setups. But basically, um, I'm just right now, it seems like there are five diodes on each side, but because of where these are plugged in, um, only the first one each of the first ones are plugged in. And so that's a very typical um, configuration for an overdrive pedal, like a tube screamer, and I'd say probably 70 to 80% of soft clipping overdrives using op amps will have just two diodes, um, one facing each other. And so let's just hear what it sounds like. Um, right now, the switch is facing right, so we have no diodes in the circuit. Uh, gain is at noon. And so it should be pretty clean. Okay, here we go. Okay, so you notice that the volume got really quiet. Um, obviously because we're clipping the signal, the volume is gonna go down quite a bit. And also, um, you'll notice the overdrive. So let me increase the output level. So that, I mean, it's not a great sounding overdrive, but it's a pretty decent sounding overdrive. Um, again, because of the circuit, um, there isn't anything fancy to it, but it is that classic soft clipping two, two diode uh, op amp overdrive, um, just with a simple uh, low pass or high cut tone, tone circuit. So um, yeah, it sounds pretty good. Let's see uh, on the neck pickup. Okay, so um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through different diode combinations and I'll have graphics on the screen so you can see um, exactly what you are hearing um, as we go along. But I'll have a loop again as usual, um, just playing back some simple stuff and we'll go through each of the different settings. The volume is going to change um, as we add more diodes into the circuit so I'll have to adjust that in uh, post because um, it's kind of going to be difficult to go through each setup and then tweaking minor doing minor tweaks to the trim pot to, to adjust the volume so I'm going to be adjusting the output level um, in post uh, but otherwise everything's going to remain constant Okay, so let's jump into the loop and see how it sounds.
Okay, so that was taking a look at um, symmetrical clipping versus asymmetrical clipping, and then also going to going into some extreme asymmetrical clipping uh, settings. Um, I was really surprised at some of the results that I got. Um, I didn't think that some of these would sound any good at all, but um, they actually did. And again, going back to that, is asymmetrical clipping uh, more tube-like argument? Um, I can't really say, but there is some element of the asymmetrical clipping that I found pleasing to my ears. Um, although I do like the symmetrical clipping, um, I think my ears are just familiar with it because a lot of the pedals that I own and a lot of the pedals that I've made have been asymmetrical clip or uh, sorry symmetrical clipping. Um, so it does sound pleasing to my ears just because I'm used to it. But um, a lot of the asymmetrical clipping uh, options or topologies, even some of the extreme ones, sounded really cool and would be sort of fun to implement that in um, some future pedal project. So again, um, if you guys are building overdrive pedals of your own, um, hopefully this is um, a sort of a fun experiment that would be helpful for you. And so you can implement some of these ideas into something that you're building. But please share your thoughts in the comment section below. I'd love to hear what you all think. Um, and as usual, uh, thanks for watching.